Welcome to Just Be Kind. I'm your host, Matthew Plotner. So on today's episode, I wanted to talk about the idea of hearing voices and what does it mean when you hear voices and others don't, or where do those voices come from? How do we deal with those voices? How do we handle knowing where those voices come from? Does knowing make it easier for you? For me, it kind of does. Kinda, but not really. I don't know. It does and it doesn't. I'm, I'm one of those people that I have to know. And once I know, then I can start working through the whys and the hows and the, the whatnots. So let's start there. Let's start with the what. What is it that's going on when we hear these voices in our head? And what I was able to find on the very limited research that's been done on this is it's the idea of sub audio vocal. So the, the study was done back in the 50s, 60s. And the, the guy that did this study found that schizophrenics, when they're hearing the, the external voices that aren't supposedly their own, it's actually, it's, it's sub audio, the, what do you say? The sub audio response is in is heightened you know okay so let me let me explain everybody when they think will get into this mode where they're thinking about something really really hard or really really intense and they'll start to vocalize it but they won't vocalize it in a way where you could hear it right it's called sub audio vocalizing and most people, when they do this, they recognize it as it's it's their voice, them talking to themselves, and they'll they'll work through the daily plans. Or some people might look at themselves and go, "Oh, why did I do that? That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that." Or they'll something right. Everybody has that internal monologue, and it's it may not be talking. It might be pictures. It might be something. But everybody, everybody out there has some form of internal monologue going on. The difference lies in how this internal monologue is interpreted by the brain of a schizophrenic. And here's where the areas get a little gray. Here's where the the research is a little fuzzy. They don't really know for sure what's going on, what they think is going on based on research. Again, this was from a study I found from the 50s. So it's been a minute since somebody researched this topic. But the, the idea is they think that this sub audio vocalizing that's going on is not being recognized by the brain as the, the voice of the individual. In other words, the brain hears this sub audio vocalizing and recognizes it as a, the voice of another or an other out there. And with there not being an other or no other speaking, if there's other people in the room, the brain internalizes this as, well, it's, it's a hallucination. It's not really there. It makes it up assumptions about it. And that's where we get these issues with misinterpreting things for me. So I can only speak on my, what I have and how I deal with it, because what I've found too in my research is everybody's symptoms are different. How do they diagnose something with such a broad spectrum is beyond me. And I I envy anybody who takes that up as a career. I, I tried, I wanted to, I still do, but wow, it's, it's a lot to, to pick through and sort through and, and distinguish what's what. But anyway, back to what I was saying. For, for me, my my voices weren't what I was used to, right? I, I have family that has schizophrenia. I have family that's heard voices and, and tells them to do things and, and react in ways. And that wasn't my experience. And that's why I feel, personally, that's why I feel it took so long for me to get my diagnosis. Because my voices, they are they're repeating things that are are going on around me, but they're doing it in such a way that it it makes me feel attacked or belittled, or I feel enraged because I don't feel like I'm being heard or understood. I feel like I'm being picked on or, or trauma. It's trauma. I know it's trauma from childhood, from, from a lot of different sources. And that inner voice that I grew up to build through 
abuse, through trauma, through just different means has turned into a voice that is mine, but I don't recognize it as mine according to what I've been able to find. And that's where I have I have to say that it sucks because how do how do most people without schizophrenia without these these deal these illnesses how do they deal do they deal with an inner voice that is so damn critical that you can't turn it off even even now with my medication my inner voice is still highly toxic it's highly critical it pushes me to not want to do things to be terrified to try new things because i'll inevitably fail and when i fail whether nobody else says something or not my brain will go into overdrive into telling me that i'm i'm worthless i'm crap i don't deserve to even be successful that it just and it goes into these horribly dark places and that that is from my understanding that is part of the the illness is you you just you can't you can't stop the brain your mind from dealing these blows to yourself as much as you try as much as you want to as much as i would love to to stop the the inner monologue of near constant belittle and berate and 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 everything else i don't even know what to call it anymore because i've dealt with it forever and i didn't realize that it the way that i deal with it isn't normal the way my mind functions when it goes into that into just turning off and shutting down and 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 basically non-functioning god i hate it so i don't know i'm still confused as to the sources of the voices in our heads guys i didn't get a whole lot of information i hope maybe somebody out there has better information than i have i want to start finding some experts to talk to because i feel like i feel like there's more information out there i'm just not finding it so if you guys out there know where to find better information that i can bring to you or that i can fit more likely i can use for myself that's what i'm trying to do to find this information to help me understand me better and then in understanding me better i want to help everybody else understand themselves so guys thanks for listening I'll be back again with more questions, more things I'm finding, more, just more, just more. I don't know what more, but more. So thanks for listening, and I'll be back.